Uh, well, hello there, my fabulous internet fam. It's Queen Kim K here. Buckle up because I'm about to drop some juicy knowledge bombs on social media customer service that are going to pop like a champagne bottle on a private jet. First and foremost, responsiveness should be your middle name, just like selfie is mine. If a complaint or question pops up, I want you to pounce on it quicker than paparazzi on Northwest first day of school, delay in response. Honey, that's like wearing denim on denim to the Grammys. And trust me, we don't want to revisit the early 2000s. Now, no listening is not everyone's strong suit looking at you, Kanye, but when it comes to customers, you need to listen more intently than Kris Jenner eavesdropping on our family gatherings. The real issue might be hiding behind a grumpy face emoji or worse, a GIF from cats. Um, but let's get this straight, um, sweeties. Um, there will be haters who come at you harder than Chloe comes at the dessert table. When you run into these trolls, treat their hate like I treat Courtney's rants on organic food with a polite nod, a little chuckle, and a generous serving of diva sass. Speaking of crew of court, her relentless honesty reminds us that transparency is key. Remember the time she told the world about my crying face? Yeah. Still working through that one. But point is, when you goof up, own it faster than Kylie. Mistakes are like Paris Hilton's chihuahuas. They're tiny, yappy, and eventually everybody knows about them. And um, darling, uh, make sure every reply is as unique as a Kardashian Christmas party. Keep your vibe as consistent as my contouring game, but pepper it with enough personal touches to make it feel like each customer is getting a one-on-one -on -one sit down with Ryan Seacrest. To sum this all up, prettier than a Kris Jenner selfie, good social media customer service is like nailing the perfect Instagram post. Um, it takes creativity, relevance, and above all else, authenticity. As I always say, if Twitter gives you lemons, tweet out, lemonade. Now, if you'll excuse me, um, I have to go uh, remind Courtney that not everyone loves gluten-free drama and tell Momagra Chris that trying to control everything is so last season, but really, who am I fooling? There's no stopping those two.